Hey, what's going on, Internet? Welcome back to episode number two of Logo Design Bootcamp. My name is Steve Looney, and I'm the owner of GraphicDesignerTips.com. And each week, we produce a new episode where we utilize a different letter of the alphabet, and we create a fictitious logo uh, for you to learn about. We critique it, and we actually teach you different tools in Adobe Illustrator on how to build it. Okay, so I was looking for inspiration for the second episode of Letter B, and uh, it came to me after doing all yard work, project work, visiting fr friends and family. It was an exhausting weekend. I came back home, kicked up my feet on the couch, I cracked open a nice beer. And so what I have done is I've, I have created a fictitious logo for a company uh, called Barrelers Beer, and uh, I portray it as a German-based company um, because I took a trip to Germany last year and uh, I have a lot of photos which I'm going to utilize, I have utilized into this logo and um, it's just inspiration, putting the ideas together and going with it. And before I forget, did you not see the branding on the bottle? This is Barrelers Beer right here. That does not taste like Sam Adams anymore. I guarantee it. You change the branding, you change everything. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's critique this logo real quick. Um, we have the, uh, a gothic medieval type of font face, which uh, really makes it that uh, German type feel. And that's what I was kind of going for uh, here. So I found a free font um, on the internet that I was able to utilize for this tutorial uh, to show you the effect of that. Um, this, uh, there's two images in this piece. There is a background wood texture that I found. Um, and this picture actually is one that I took uh, of these buildings up here. It's actually a place in Frankfurt uh, called Frankfurt am Main. And um, it's pretty cool because it's a picture I took with my iPhone and then I was able to convert it into vector art, which means that it can be printed anywhere. It can be printed... Um, Vinyl banners, any type of any type of printer, it's uh, not gonna have an issue. I could scale this up as big as I want this image, and it's not going to to distort, which is really cool. Um, right here, we have these uh, little wheat uh, uh, things over here hanging around, kind of making that circular shape around the logo. And it's actually a brush uh, that I created, and then made the brush stroke. So I'll show you that in the tutorial. And uh, it's just a ba It's basically the whole concept is the barrel of beer and uh, you know it facing you and and basically um, you know utilizing the fonts and the images it, it makes it feel you know real and authentic even though this is just for the purpose of this tutorial okay so we're gonna start with um, we have most of the most of the elements to this logo are on the screen right now um, we're gonna start with the word barrelers we're gonna come up and change the font to the font that I found and uh, we're gonna make that nice and large we're going to create outlines on this by going to type, create outlines, and now there's actual shapes so we can put a gradient in it. And we're going to put a gradient by coming over here and clicking. And we're going to change that gradient to from this brown to black. All right. We're going to come to our gradient tool and we're going to move that to the way that we want it. All right. Now, to make the background of the actual barrel we're going to just create a, a a circle and put a little brown stroke on it and we're going to overlay that circle onto whatever image that you're looking to have now if you're worried about the fact that image and vector art you can always do a live trace or an image trace on this which is what we're going to do on the other photo and uh it's you're going to have no problems with, with using it as vector art you know for certain printers that you may be using but we're going to take these two elements here to make the circular shape. We need to make it fit in the other one. We're going to make sure that the circle is on top of the shape. It has to be on top for this to work. And we're going to highlight both. We're going to right click and we're going to make clipping mask. All right. So now we lost our, our stroke. So we're going to have to come over here to our stroke, come to our color. And we're going to have to add some stroke onto that. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to overlay that to get the exact size that we had. Or at least very close. Okay, cool. All right. So I'm going to put barrelers under here. And I'm going to go to object. I'm going to send it to the back. Arrange sent to back. Now we need to create this white behind the letters. And the way that I would do that is you would select the letters using the 
uh, direct sele uh, the selection tool, which is V on the keyboard. And I always like to copy and paste one behind it because when you add a stroke to letters, you're gonna see what's gonna happen. We're gonna add a white stroke to just this top element. And the more you add the stroke to it, the more it cuts away this word. All right, you don't want that to happen. Um, we're gonna come back here and we're going to copy or go to object or edit copy. And then we're gonna go to edit paste in back. It's gonna paste right behind the other word. It's not gonna pa paste behind that barrel. And this is very important because now we're gonna add a white stroke onto this one. That's the second copy behind the first. And you can't see it yet because there's no weight. We're gonna add some weight to that. And you're gonna see it's not taking away from the brown. Just a little bit less <clears throat> and the last thing I'm gonna do is to fill in these little areas right here one two three four I'm just gonna make a a, uh, a white rectangle and I'm going to fill it with white this is how I did it in it's kind of a sloppy way to do it but just kind of do it real quick just to show you and here's our rectangle now we're gonna come here marquee both of those layers because there are two layers of words and we're gonna come to object arrange bring to front and now it's going to be right behind it and we're probably uh, going to need to center this a little bit so just nudge it a little bit to the left and we're good on that all right next um we're going to take this photo and we're going to do an image trace trace on it and uh it's going to take if this photo of this square that i took with my with my uh iphone and uh it's going to create a an image we're going to do three colors Okay, so now when we have our image like that, we're going to hit expand and it's gonna turn it into our vector art, which is awesome because no matter how high we blow this up, it's not going to distort. Now, I'm going to overlay this um, into, my, into my logo area. And right now it's actually, it's uh, you'll see a couple of things. We'll zoom in here. There's all this extra building here, which is kind of messy looking. There's this extra area in here and there's this kind of this extra stuff going on over here um we can make a clipping mask uh like we did with the barrel and the circle and we're going to do that to this image and but first before i'm going to scale this down a little bit to how it is in the in the finalized logo and i'm going to get rid of this white by hitting it with the direct selection and deleting and i'm going to scale this to where we really kind of want it to be all right all right now um and it automatically placed it behind the word which was good we're going to come over to our transparency all right leave that in there uh while we have this selected we're going to come into our transparency and hit overlay you're going to get a different effect on each and overlay kind of gives it that golden uh like engraved type of look it's you know it's it's pretty cool so if you want to change you can actually change the vector art in here to different colors and you'll have different effects that's what i did in here that's why it looks so gold in the final one and um i'm going to take my clipping mask uh, my excuse me my pen tool and i'm going to zoom in and i'm going to go around this because i want all this this stuff in here to to get wiped out because that's not part of anything that's just extra crap that's just highlighted we're gonna come up here, step, step. Kind of, I'm kind of rough doing this. All right. We're gonna come down here. I'm basically outlining what I want and what I basically, if I don't outline, if it's not within here, I don't want it. All right, we're gonna click that. We're going to get our selection tool V. While we have the clip, the clipping mask designate uh, desired clipping mask shape, we're going to click the other element and we're going to right click, make clipping mask, and now it, it took out all that stuff there, there, and on the side over here. All right. Now we, if you notice, we got this little funky stuff going on here. We need to send our type to the front by selecting these two layers. Come into object, arrange, bring to front, and now you don't see that anymore. And the next thing, which is a really cool thing that um, if you don't know this, it's really going to help you out a lot. Um, I created these little vector shapes uh, of a, a little wheat. I don't know what you would call it, a wheat leaf or whatever. But um, by basically taking the pen tool and just kind of doing like a rough, you know, oh, whoops, that looks like, doesn't look like it. Um, 
let's see. Here we go. And uh, selecting this and then and then just creating this little shape in here. And what I did was I created <clears throat> I created these and I created a little stem and when I was done, I grouped it. And now I'm gonna ungroup everything for a second so you see. Before they look like this. And now I'm gonna select everything and group them. And the reason I'm grouping them is because I'm gonna make a brush that whenever I do any kind of a, of a, of a brush stroke, it's going to, this is go, what's gonna paint on the canvas. Not a, not a color, a picture, or basically a, a pattern. So, so, well, sort of like a pattern. So we're gonna select this group. We're gonna come over here to our brushes. We're going to come down to the options, click new brush, and we're going to make a new art brush. Okay. And in here, it's going to show us, um, don't worry about all these other stuff. We're just going to change one little thing, the direction. All right. You see the directions going from here to here. You want it to go from here to here because this is going to be the back point wherever we move our brush. This is going to be at the tip and this is going to be at the back and you'll see in one second. We're going to hit okay. Uh, we're going to come into our brush tool and just so you see what's going on here, that's basically what's happening with the uh, shape that we made. It's really, really cool. Trust me, this little tool, if you didn't know it already, or you know these couple little options right here, you're going to make awesome logos in no time. So basically, you could do this free form like this. And the way that you change the, the width of that is with the stroke. And you're going to, this is at one point right now. So we're going to do this to like 0.04. And depending how zoomed in you are on your canvas is going to determine, you know, how many points you need. You might be at 10 points and it looks like that. So, all right, that's way too thin, 0.02. Let's do 0.05. Okay. 0.09. Point three. Cool. All right. So it's all experimentation. Now I don't like the way it curved. I, I, I it didn't. You know I didn't do it correctly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to our pen tool, and I'm gonna hold it down, add anchor point pen tool, or add anchor point tool, or hit the plus sign on the keyboard. Let's do that right in the middle. And now we can maneuver this however we want. So I can have it really curve around that circle. Remember guys, design is about being neat, proportionate, and um, you know, people are gonna see if things aren't balanced, you know, it's just not gonna look right. And you don't wanna do shoddy work like that anyway. So we're going to take this, and we're gonna hold Option, we're gonna copy this over, Option, click, and pull, while you're holding Shift too, hold Shift down so it, it stays within line, and we're gonna come over here to the Reflect tool, flip this bad boy backwards, move it into place. All right, uh, we're gonna come up here to our type tool and I think I said established 1800 and we're gonna make that nice and small and we're going to lift these up a little bit because I really wanted these to kind of contain that word. It's, it's about creating the balance. And the last thing, well actually not the last thing, but the second to last thing is uh, you want to create a circle that's about the size of this. And we're going to bring it down here. And we're going to come out to the type tool, type on a path tool. And we're going to click this and we're going to type authentic. And this is too big, so I'm going to select all. And I'm going to lower the point size on this a lot. Authentic German Frankfurt. Amen beer. All right, now there's a problem. The if you if you look, it's on the outside. We need to get this so it's it's basically on the inside or on on flipped outside so it reads like it does over here. So we're gonna come to our our direct selection and what we're gonna do is um, this is experimentation. So these little points that hang out, you can actually maneuver them with the direct selection. So, oh, there we go. If we pull this in, just come from the right and pull it to the left, it's gonna, but it's it's very, you know, you gotta be very careful because you move just slightly, it pops out of the circle. So we're gonna get that to where we want it to be. Uh, we're gonna move that under our logo. All right, so it's not exactly what we want. And we're gonna fix that. 
instead of just leaving it. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to take this point right here with the direct selection by hitting A. And we're going to bend this in. And we're going to bend it in more. All right. And I don't like that, so we're going to back up. Okay, we can change the curves on here. That look actually pretty good. And we're going to pull that bad boy out. All right, so the last thing I want to show you is a couple little ideas that I had while I was working on this conceptually. Um, this was kind of like the, the beginning, starting from like the top. Um, I really wanted to make a, my whole logo idea in the beginning was to really incorporate the letter into it, uh, the B. So uh, I kind of had this B coming out of the top right here on Barrelers. Uh, but after working with this logo, if you see all the other the versions, I didn't feel like, you know, especially these two. This one's pretty good right here. I, I do like it. Uh, maybe moving this to the middle a, bit, a little bit more well balanced. But I didn't fall in love with it, honestly, and uh, I didn't want to um, half-ass this. So it, it's a great, it, it's a cool looking logo, but it wasn't what I wanted to represent. So uh, we st I started moving into other little things over here. Um, this is actually overlapping that, but, um, then over here, I mean, I, this is kind of just a mess around. I don't know what I was doing there. This, I was thinking, you know, label wise for, you know, cause if you type in, uh, go to Google and type in, um, you know, beer logo, uh, you're going to have all this awesome stuff come up and it's, uh, the way, like the old fashioned looking logos, it, they're, they're very cool the way that they're designed. And then I came over here and I fell in love with this for a little bit, but it's still, I wasn't happy with it, um, you know, at all. And then I messed with this little guy over here. I did some stupid thing up here. And um, there's a lot of other stuff on my canvas I was working on. But this is what we came up with in the end. And it looks real authentic, just like the authentic saying of the beer. I hope you enjoy this tutorial as much as I did. Um, I'm doing this for every viewer out there, uh, giving up my whole Sunday to uh, to show you guys a lot of different tools. Um, that's what I really want to help you out with. Um, this logo did incorporate a, a bunch of different tools, especially like brush strokes, and uh, which are really important, especially in logo design. They can help you out with so many things. And uh, so I'd like you to leave your comments below if there's any tools you'd like me to talk about in, in a future video. Um, I'll I'll build them within the next logo or the next you know couple episodes uh, because these are the things that you know I want to know from you guys that's important to you uh, when it comes to design. How do you do certain aspects? All right, so these come out once a week. Hit our subscribe button. You'll get these in your email every time they come out, and definitely follow us on Twitter. And that's it, guys. I uh, I hope to hear from you. Please like this video. Very important. Uh, the more you like it, the more it can get out there for other people to. Uh, notice it and, and maybe get some help from it and uh, I would love to leave hear your comments below so leave them and uh, if you have ideas about future videos or tools like I said that you want me to incorporate in, in the future so have an awesome night God bless